Hello everyone, this is Sashmit from Paragide Technologies. Today I am going to demonstrate how to use the new introduced workflow functionality in Navision 2016. For, the, for this video, I presume that the viewer have the basic functional understanding on classic approval mechanism in previous Navision version. So, with the enhancement in the use of events in Navision 2016, the new workflow functionality has been introduced, which depends on three main events, which are an event, a condition and a response where the event is the process which needs to be carried out a condition could be a set of filters for which the process will be carried out and a response will be what response system will trigger for example modification of a data when a document is approved we can use events to design the application to react to a specific action or behavior that occurs events enable us to separate customized functionality from the application business logic Events can be used for different purposes such as generating notification when certain behavior occurs or the state of an entity change. It can also be used for integration with the external application. When you type workflow in search bar, you will see a different number of objects for the workflow. Here are the objects. Let's start creating a basic sales workflow for sales code. First of all, I will have to create an approval user setup for two users where one is the approver and other is the requesting user. This will be my approver so I just put the unlimited approvals for this user. and other is the requesting user. So I've just put the approver ID as the NAS user that is my approver. Now the approval setup is done. Till here the process is the same. Now next is to create a workflow for this. Type the workflow and open the workflow window. In the workflow templates, we have some basic workflow available in Navigant 2016 such as administration, finance, integration, purchase documents, sales and marketing and the sales document. So I just go back and select the workflow and create a new workflow from template. New workflow from template. I'll select the sales code approval workflow. Now this screen depends on the three type of categories. One is the when event, one is the on condition and other is the then response. In the when event, we have various type of workflow events available. For example, a vendor record is changed. In the on condition, we can define the conditions on which the workflow will process. And in the then response, In the then response, we can select what will be the system response. From here, I will select the approver type as the approver. That will be my NAS user, that is the approver. I go and enable this from here from the header. And I click OK. Now the workflow setup is done. Now next, I will create a sales quotation from the requesting user. So I will just quickly create the sales quotation from here. I will take the type as an item. Select the type as item. Number as for example front wheel let's put the quantity as 10 and I put the line discount as 12% now the sales quote is created now next is I will send the approval request from here the request is sent now next I open the approvers role center 
from here as type documents approval in the documents approval i'll see that a sales quotation is open in the approval entry here is the open sales quotation that we just created now i just navigate to record so that i can see the entire sales quotation in the sales quotation i found that the discount is 12% so i just want to reduce this discount so i'll put the comments in the comments section here reduce the discount to 10% click okay and i just reject this quotation once it it is rejected it will be seen as open on the requesting user's id so i tried to make order from this screen i will not be allowed by the system because the record has been rejected now when i open the requesting user's role center i can see that the sales quote is open and i can see the comments from here that the discount is to be reduced to 10% so i reduce the discount and send it back for the approval at the approvals window i can see the record again this time the discount has been has been reduced so i can approve it from here once i check the discount from the record yes the discount has been reduced so i just go and approve this now you can see that the status is released for this quotation from the requesting users page now i can go and create this quotation in an order so i just quickly convert it from the make order click yes to convert it into an order from the quotation now the quotation has been converted so this is the basic workflow mechanism uh, thanks for watching this video for more information please visit www.piraguide.com